<clears throat> me and my guy, my cooking show. <clears throat> We're gonna make these steaks. Let me, let me go to. Well, first of all, let me, these scissors here. I'm gonna use. These things are like 30 years old. You can't even find these anymore. The U.S. made. You, you buy the cheap crap now. They tear up. The last time I had to get one of these, I had to special order them out of like California for 80 bucks. But they're worth the 80 bucks because they are American made and they will last for 30 years. You will spend way more than $30 buying the cheap foreign crap. Um, but anyway, this is something that's going to need to be go back to the old days. The American made stuff. It was better. It was better. Uh, anyway, let's get on with the cooking thing here. Just, now these steaks, these are my ribeyes. I got this food sealer here. I really highly recommend these. I, a while back I threw away about $200 worth of meat and I, I, I told you guys what I make and I can't afford that. So I did spend the money on this food sealer. But look, it seals the, it seals the meat up airtight and um, it'll keep three years like this without freezer burning. I was wrapping stuff in tin foil and uh, the stuff was being freezer burned about three months. So this thing has paid for itself already. I've only had it you know, a couple months. It's already paid for itself. Um, so let's get started here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open these in the sink. I'm gonna be out of your sight, but I don't wanna, especially the blood, I don't wanna drain the blood all over. Let's uh, open that up in here. And then just lay these steaks up. Like so. Okay, let me let me wipe my hands off. And I guess we better turn the oven on. About 400. Sounds good. And let's turn this burner here on. Just a little, not real high right now. Just turn on low to get it hot. I'm gonna turn it up higher when I go to actually use it. And then my butter. Let me melt my butter. It'll take a second. Just give it like 10 seconds, it'll melt. Yeah, that'll be good enough. Okay. Oh, I want to mention one thing. Mom, my video on Mom in Hawaii, she wanted me to mention something. Actually, she wanted me to mention a couple things. She griped at me about my t-shirt and the scrubs that I'm always wearing. But I want you to people to know I got like a 10 pair of these scrubs. I got I got like 20 t-shirts and I sweat a lot. So I'm constantly changing them. Um, but I told her, she said, you need to wear a different shirt every time. I'm like, no, mom, I'm at home. I can't leave. I'm just going to be comfortable. So I'm just letting you people know, uh, you know, I, I do change. Uh, you, you will see it change off and on, but I... Normally just wear a white t-shirt when I'm home. Um, anyhow, uh, let's start. Uh, the ingredients, you need black pepper, basil. Now this is the main, the important ingredient here, rosemary. I always did like rosemary. <laughs> uh, garlic you normally you would use the wet garlic but I don't have any right now so I'm going to substitute I'm going to use butter and garlic salt you would also use sea salt but because I'm going to use the garlic salt I'm doing away with the sea salt but but you guys get the idea and then a little bit of virgin olive oil and this Pepsi is to wet my whistle uh, no Pepsi next 70 calories 60 calories oh 60 calories just as good as the other. Send me some money, Pepsi. Now, oh, let's see. Uh, I'm just kidding about it every time I say that. When I, I've just mentioned things I like, just like the food saver thing. Great, great. And so, what we're gonna do now? Let's see here. We'll just start with the butter. Ah, I can't find it. It's my food. It's my hands. Let's do it this way. I'm just going to rub a little bit of butter on there. 
I don't recommend you do it this way for your guests. And George, we, I didn't do it this way. <laughs> George, I, I used a brush. Or actually, I used the wet garlic for you, George. We'll just put a little bit of butter on there. Now I'm to wipe this off. Yeah, I was watching stuff on Iran on TV. You military guys, you know, I want to you know uh, the first words you'll hear from someone that's an Iranian when they see an American soldier, Iran. <laughs> yeah, that's a funny Think about it. I got a story I'm going to tell you about the Iranians. This is the uh, garlic salt. Just be liberal. But if it was the wet garlic, you would just smear it around on there like I did that butter. And now you take, take some of the basil. Oops, that's not been open. Yeah, let me find one that has been open. And basil. And let's just take the lid off, it'll be easier. Sprinkle a little bit of basil on there. Keep this stuff out because you're going to need it again. Let me see, I got to, let me set this ball aside so I don't do it again because I'm kind of short term. I'm, uh, I'm not able to use it again. And, oh, that was not open either. Yeah. Okay. Rosemary. 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 Now, this stuff is kind of strange. It looks like little sticks. But I'm telling you, this is this is what does it. This is the stuff that you want. Just just sprinkle these little sticks, so just all over your steaks like that, and kind of mash them on. Make it, you want to make them kind of stick if you can. And see what I got left here: pepper. See, it's easy to do because I got everything laid out here. I, I don't have to remember. I, I looked it up off the recipe and I got everything out ahead of time. This is pepper. Just, just sprinkle that on. And then now, let's turn this skillet up kind of high now. You want it really hot. And then you're going to need a pan. And it'll go in the oven after they come out of the, here. They got to go in there. So set that right there. Um, while I'm waiting not to heat up, I'm going to tell my Iranian story. Uh, one of my schools I went to was Fleet Ashford Trison Pack, the base, that was the name of the base, Fleet Ashford Trison Pack out in California, San Diego. That stands for Fleet Anti-Submarine Warfare Training Facility. They abbreviate everything in a big long word that nobody understands, you know, that's, that's, that's another military thing. Um, I love that base, tiny little base, tiny little base. Had a tiny, nice little, nice little lounge right back near the water where you could go back there and get a beer. I can't have the beers now, but I did then. And, and you could sit out on the water, and, and they had the best grilled cheese and grilled ham and cheese. I would go there late at night. But anyway, and I lived in the barracks. And back then, back then, we weren't very smart. We sold some of our diesel boats to the Iranians. And they had, and then we brought their people over to our base and was training them how to use these submarines that we sold them. Um, and they stayed in the barracks with us, the rest of us men. Not in the same room. I was a petty officer. I had a room to myself, um, but right beside me was an Iranian in the room beside me. And that son of a gun would, um, that's the only gun I believe in, son of a gun, okay? We'll substitute that for something else. Um, he would sit over there and play that crazy music, crazy music, loud, really loud. and. You know, I, I wonder what they would like if we come over there to their country and start playing uh, some of the stuff that I've been playing for you guys, you know, and see how they like Or Actually, they probably would like it. They probably never get hear music like that. Uh, so, I mean, uh, anyway, his music drove me crazy. And I complained, and he just, every time you would complain to one of these guys, they're here in our schools that are taught in English, but every time you would complain to them or they would cut in front of you at the chow hall, you would say something to them and they go, no speak English, no speak English. Now, anytime it was convenient to them, it was no speak English. Now, uh, 
but yet they're going to classes that are taught in English. Uh, you know, the American soldiers weren't stupid. We just, we behaved ourselves, let them act like a-holes, and, uh, and just, you know, we had to tolerate it. But I got to a point where I couldn't tolerate the music, and uh, one day, uh, it's getting hot, one day uh, I, I sat up with it. So uh, the walls between each of the barrack rooms and the barracks were, were cinder block walls, and so I took my outlet off, and I looked, and the hole went right through. It's only an eight-inch brick, and I could see the back of his outlet. So I went and got me some snips, and I waited till his music was really playing loud, and, and you know I, I was being trained in electronics, and electricity, people. So don't don't nobody ever try this, but I knew what was live and what was not live. I took the snips and I reached in there and I snipped his electricity. Boom! The electric went quiet, and. Uh, or the, uh, not the electric, well the electric went quiet, but the sound went quiet. And uh, I actually got some peace that night. Uh, but the next morning, I was leaving, and he was uh, leaving the room, and he looks over, and uh, you know, I wasn't gonna do that day, I was, in, I was in civilian clothes, and he looked over, he pointed, he said, I got a pair of socks just like those. See, now he speaks English. Uh, and I said, yeah, I stole them from you, buddy, and I walked off, and he believed me. He uh, he went and told somebody. And next thing I know, I got an officer knocking at my barracks door that evening and chewed me out and for stealing the Iranian socks. And I said, I didn't steal his socks. I just said that. And and uh, he says he damn near called an in, caused an international incident. I said, over socks. And I said, well. He, and then he says, and do you know anything about this Iranian music stopping? I said, oh, no, sir. I know absolutely nothing about that. Um, I said, but it has been quiet here lately. But uh, anyway, that's, that's my story. And uh, you know, I've seen the stuff on Iran on TV, so I figured I'd mention my, my Iran story. Okay, now that's hot. We put a little bit of olive oil in here. Just a little bit. Now you're just going to pick this up and plop them right in there. What you want to do is just sear. You want to sear this stuff to the meat if you can. And let me grab my tongs. I don't want to burn myself. And uh, oh yeah, I was going to tell you too, Mom, real quick. I almost forgot. I made I made those so I don't forget. Mom wanted you people to know about the Hawaii story. Maybe I said this already. If I did, forgive me. But Mom said that the TV station over there, they still call her occasionally. I did not know this. She told me that they, out of all the air crashes, out of these small places in Hawaii, that they are the only ones that ever survived. Nobody ever survived any air crash. The small, the small airlines that do tours, they're dangerous people, be careful. And another thing is the insurance. We found out that the man was carrying like $25,000 insurance. That's all he had to carry. It's all the state of Hawaii requires on a, on a air, uh, charter airline. That, I carry more insurance than that on my car. Uh, that needs to be changed. Anyhow, uh, that's enough of that. Let's get back to cooking. <clears throat> now we throw this in here. We might move it around a little bit so it don't stick the pan. We don't need this anymore. Get that out of the way. Now the same same procedure. You stick your what would be your wet garlic. Since you flipped it over and got this side, now we're going to do while it's cooking. We're just going to flip this side on. So I don't have the wet garlic, so I'm substituting butter and garlic salt. Let's put it on here. Now I'm going to wipe this off my hands. And repeat before. Wet my whistle. Make a joke about Iran. Oh, just feeling tough. Put a little basil. Made a mess here. Good thing I got more. Oops, I forgot the other steak. See, I'm getting a little excited. Never done a cooking show before. Okay, here's that. Garlic salt. 
Be a laborer. Do as much as you want. Black pepper. And like I said, you would normally use sea salt. Instead of the garlic salt, you'd be normal white garlic and use some sea salt. And the ones George had, that's what you got. You got the white garlic and the sea salt. But there's that. Let's just turn it up a little more. Yeah, that looks good. Let it sear a little bit more. Yeah, that's what you want. See it stuck? See the stuff stuck to it? That's what you want. You want stuff to stick to it. Just turn it a little higher. Okay, now we're going to turn each of these over. But the reason you want to use such high heat, you want to sear that on there and you want to sear, sear the meat. Because if you sear it quickly, then the juices can't get out and they stay inside. Uh-oh, there's that fly. I got one fly in the house. I was really hoping it didn't show up in my video. No way. No way. And I, I tried to take him down, but he, he's outrunning me. Quick as I am right now, he's, he's quicker than I am. I said, I'm done with that. Uh, anyway. Because of time, I don't want the video to run real long. Sear both sides, move them to the pan. Got my oven on about four, 450, whatever you want. It's not that critical. Uh, but put your steaks in your pan here. Yeah, that looks good. Drop them right on there. You can turn this off now, you're done with it. Go away. Put this in your oven now. And that's it. 30 minutes, 45 minutes, just depends on how you done you want your steak. Uh, and actually when you cook it this way, it don't really matter. It's good whether it's not so done, it's good whether it's real done. Uh, it, 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 it's this flavor. It's just got such good flavor. And it's better than even something you cook on the grill. Uh, normally I like grill, but then I found out how to do this. And this is as good as any steak on any grill. If you do it just the way I told you. Um, I'm not a fancy cooking show. I don't have two I can pull out and show you the finished product. Uh, I couldn't afford to do two more just for that reason. So uh, I'm going to end the video now. When they're done, I'll, I'll snap a photo and put it on my Google page. And uh, that's all. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.